welcome to wall skill bank today i'm going to talk about uh, uh, pivot table in 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 our previous discussion we talked about uh, basic features of excel and then we touched upon the vlookup and today our focus would be uh, pivot table uh, as you are watching this particular video you must be uh, i mean curious about understanding the what pivot table is and how we create the pivot table and what are the features of the pivot table so we would be touching all these uh, i mean uh, uh, parameters of pivot table so to create the pivot table we first need to have the um, raw data set and of course you would be having because, uh, and on that you would be uh, you may create uh, uh, those pivot table if not i may uh, share the raw data sets so that you can play with the pivot tables and you can, you can create the pivot tables on your on your own side now so now we have here i will i would just like to introduce you with the data set which i have uh, this data set is uh, this data set pertains to the institutional level data set like uh, uh, technical institute we have given the institution id and then uh, type of institution private or government location rural or urban where institute re is residing district um, and then uh, number of trades we have in that particular institute the number of seats and uh, number of trainees now uh, looking look at this data set we have uh, maybe uh, around 2000 records over here so you may have a data set with maybe millions of records and uh, you may like to uh, create the pivot table out of that because uh, using the just the raw data set you may not be in for anything from the, this particular data set you must need to have some kind of summary and you may be asked by your uh, leader or maybe uh, someone else to provide the summary of this data set at a different point of time so and, and that is the uh, basic advantage of the pivot table which can provide you a summary uh, in a very uh, simple manner and which can uh, help you understand the whole picture of the uh, data so for example if you look at uh, this particular data set and you want to create the pivot table of what you can do in your uh, own excel you can find out where the uh, uh, option of creating a pivot table is for example if you look at here uh we have uh, like in, for me i think i i can go uh, in data options and i can create the pivot table and similarly for you it may you may get in the short option or in any, any other option so for example uh manual pivot table or you can go here you can select the data set which you want so for me if we have this data set i can select all these and this will be reflected here and then uh, we have second option of creating the pivot table using the external data set like you have your own data in ms access or any other database so you can uh, select here and you can select your uh, i mean uh, that particular data set by uh, further options now the output of the pivot table where you want to create the pivot table in a new worksheet or in this existing worksheet only suppose if you want to create the new worksheet you can click here and then you can just click ok now you can see here we have this particular uh, pivot uh, created a framework of pivot now you need to uh, i mean customize this particular pivot as per your requirement suppose from uh, here you can see we have all the attributes which uh, we are available in our data set so for example if you want to create uh, someone asked to create the distribution of uh, number of seats or number of trainees uh, i mean uh, by rural or urban area so what you can do you can create uh, you can pull location here in the row option because you have you can see here we have the four boxes here row column report filter and values in values we always put uh, all the parameters which where we can calculate the sum average mean max so ca calculative parameters we use to put over here in uh, row uh, row or column or report the class kind of parameters like uh, just shake uh district uh, departments or any other such kind of things we uh, states we can put over here to summarize your data city by that particular parameter so now suppose if you want to know the number of seats you can drag number of seats in values now you can see it's saying count but we want we want the sum of the seats in in each uh, uh i mean type of location like rural or urban so you can select here sum you can select anyone here as per your requirements so you can see here so 32 uh, 3 lakh 28000 uh, number of seats we have in rural area and around uh, 1 lakh 73000 in urban area similarly if you want to uh, uh, 
uh, calculate number of trainee you can do the same thing instead of counting you can create the sum here you can see here now you have the number of seats now if you want to create the utilization like how many I mean um, trainees you have against each uh, uh, I mean uh, seats are registered so in that case what you have to do you have to look at here formula in different version of the Excel sheet like you may find a select uh, or maybe create field kind of option so here you can go in the formula calculate uh, uh, calculate calculate fields and now uh, like uh, I have already created the utilization in previous uh, I mean discussion so you can see you can go here utilization uh, just for I mean this particular lecture I may create it again uh, so here we can go and you can select uh, um, like trainees in search then divided by number of seats you can see here and now we have uh, updated it and then you cl click on ok and this uh, option will uh, should come up although as I have calculated earlier so it was not coming up now you can see here we have this particular uh, utilization option so 75 percent utilization we have in rural area and urban area both now if someone is asking not by location if you want to know by uh, uh, type of institute whether private or government so you can see here now we have uh, uh, government and private so here now we can little uh, difference you can see in uh, government we have only 72 percent of utilization whereas in private we have uh, 75 um, five or 76 percent of utilization so in government uh, um, government organization there is a less utilization it means somewhere a lot of uh, facilities given by government despite the fact we can see here lower utilization so we, we must need to government must need to look into this parameter and take some action to improve the uh, utilization of the seats in the government institution so uh, this was the I mean kind of so creating the new uh, attributes now suppose uh, someone wants not by type by district so you can just select uh, district here and put it in the row label and you can uh, you can have this now we have uh, each district we have the these seats trainees and utilization and suppose someone asks you to find out the district where you have highest number of seats you can click on any cell like here we have the number of seats so you can click of any of the cell and you can uh, just uh, uh, go to uh, option of short so find out where we have so you can go to the data yes we have here the short option so now you can see just sending order we can choose now you can see Allahabad is having the highest number of seats uh, and similarly if someone wants to understand uh, short on the basis of utilization so you can do it the same thing now you can see uh, these options are coming which might be available in our data set but it is irrelevant so I can just uh, take it out yeah so now you can see here in Jalon we have 99.99% uh, utilization which is the highest uh, uh, for the district suppose the same thing if you want to divide it by urban uh, sorry private and uh, government so what you can do by type of institution you can put it here in report filter now you can see now here the same thing if I want to look at uh, by for government institution you can see here what is there so for government we have 97.3 percent again Jalon is the top one if I look at the private one only so you can see select here private and you can see um, 100 percent utilization we have in Jalon for private institutions so very big difference around 3 percent difference in private versus government so this is the difference which we have uh, by private and government institution in the performance in, in terms of utilization. So that is a big uh, difference. So this is what I, I wanted to talk about. Uh, now you can see, uh, now we have touched upon the, um, uh, I'm a report field and others. So now I, I think one thing is missing. I may talk about the two dimensional uh, uh, pivot table. So here uh, what I will do, I will just uh, remove this. Uh, this one from here I think sorry I was in this particular seat so yeah so I will remove this uh, I will just keep the number of training right now not by um, okay I have the district so I want to look at by type so, so you can bring type here not here I think I have to use uh, from this option so what I can do I can put it here now you can see we have private and uh, uh, I can select the government as well. Now here you can see so we have government and private both parallel and by each district you can see uh, what is the distribution of these uh, government and private uh, institutions. Right. 
so now um, if I, I this is the number of trainees so now if I, I would like to look at uh, in percentage form so what can be done so in that case uh, what you can do uh, as we are looking here some of the trainee we can go here in options and you can select as, a as of now we have in a normal form but we can do it by percentage of row so you, you may see 61% uh, in Jalon we have 61% uh, uh, trainees in private and 38.8% in the government All right so this is something on the, with respect to the uh, number of trainees similarly if we want to create it by uh, uh, maybe we can do it by number of seats so we may get, get the distribution of the same so these are the features uh, we uh, visually usually view so we can so I, I would just like to summarize what we can do using the pivot table you can create a summary of the your data by suppose here we talked about by each district we talked about uh, I mean uh, overall seats and overall training we can take the average uh, you can take the minimum so average and minimum talk about if any ITI has the minimum seats and maximum seats so whatever I mean uh, way you, we want we can summarize it so we can summarize it uh, we want to have the distribution in percentage we can do that um, we, uh, we have a grand total over here and uh, in the bottom side also we have overall picture also we are getting suppose if you want to put the two uh, again here like we have district here you have private and government you want to put by uh, rural and urban what you can do you can put this location here and you can put it here so what you can do we will get in two, two way you will get right so uh, you can see here for each uh, uh, district we have rural urban over here if you want to just uh, play with this we can put it here now you can see here for rural all rurals you have this same picture and here in bottom side we have for all urban uh, same again just take for this district for Jalon you can see urban area we have 59.74 and 40.26 but if you go to rural area for Jalon, 100% uh, we have private. So there is no government institution, I think, in the rural area for Jalon. So the same way you can, uh, I mean, summarize your data set. So I believe uh, it may help you to understand the pivot table and you. So you may uh, play with your pivot. Without playing with the pivot table, you may not be able to understand everything. So as you will start playing with this, if you have any further questions, you can comment and you can ask me. Or uh, and if you would have liked this particular video, you can um, you can click uh, like or you can subscribe for getting the information about the forthcoming uh, videos. So thanks a lot for watching this video.